Christ is your answer today. You walk down this strip on Clematis and Dixie and towards the uh, waterfront and you're using alcohol, drugs, homosexuality, adultery, fornication. And it is mastering you. You can't put down the bottle. You can't put down your cigarette. And what have you to show for it? It's killing you, man. It's killing you. You're killing your out. You're killing your own self and your own sin is killing you. Why should you allow your sin to kill you anymore? When Christ came to save you, he came that you might believe on his name. What is holding you up today? Why are you allowing the world to drag you down to hell with it? Your sin is killing you. The world, the flesh, and the devil are killing you. Yet yeah, Christ came to shed his blood for you. Your church pastor can't save you either. Your feasting and your dining down that street down there can't save you. You can't save yourself. If you could save yourself, why do you have to go to a doctor? If you could save yourself, why do you have to go to counselors, addiction counselors? Why? Because it's all you know. But you could sure know something different today than what you have been living today. The Holy Spirit has come to you today, forcing you once again to make your decision for Christ or for your flesh. For Christ, for the world. And in this late hour, it's either for Christ Jesus Yahusha or it's the mark of the beast. The mark of the beast is being required of the world. The mark of the beast, and I have to say that it's the jab, if I could say it that way to be politically correct for YouTube. You take the jab, and for eternity, you're going to get worse than jabs, right? But more importantly, your soul right now is in danger of eternal hell. My sister here has been to hell. My sister here can tell you what hell is like. And she's going to tell you, I don't know how she made it out, but I'll tell you what, you don't want to go there, sir. I don't preach a Joel Osteen gospel. I don't preach the gospel of the good life and that you can have a house with a picket fence and seven children and five dogs and chickens and cats and all that great stuff. I don't preach the gospel of the good life. I preach the gospel that John the baptizer preached and that Jesus Yahusha preached. That's the gospel of repentance. You must repent and believe on the name of Christ for your salvation. You must be willing to forsake all. And that's what this whole thing about the mark of the beast is all about today. Will you take the mark of the beast or will you surrender all to Christ? Time is ticking. Tick, 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 tick. Running down, running down. Watch it, Candace. This world is running down and out. Will you repent and believe on the name of Christ this day? The Apostle Paul said, today is the day for salvation. Did he say tomorrow or did he say today? Surrender your heart to Christ forsake the world while you still have a breath coming through your lungs get off your cell phone walking down the street to pay attention to what Christ 
is trying to speak to you today by the Holy Spirit. Will you believe tonight? Or will you just pretend to go to church? Will you go down that strip right there and drink and dine and feast your flesh away to cover up your misery? When will you throw your arms up and say, Christ, I surrender. I surrender all to you. I will obey you. I will follow you. I will love you supremely. How could it be so bad to love Christ when you're in your condition today? How could it be so bad to follow Christ today when he gives you the opportunity to follow him today? These officers have to repent. You have to repent. God commands all men everywhere to repent. All men everywhere. None excluded. I don't care if you're the mayor. I don't care if you're police officers, security guards. I don't care if you're a corporate executive. I don't care. And neither does Christ. All men are called to repent. This is no game and you have the opportunity today to surrender your life to Christ before it's too late. The hour is so very late and you don't have even a clue of what's going on around the world because you're so deep into the system. And here comes a fire truck, of course. And you're so deep into the system that you're not willing to forsake it. You're hearing what might be your last call, not for alcohol, but the last call for Christ. All right? If you choose to forsake the call of Christ, this could be the very last time you hear it. This could be the very last time. You might not have another night. You may not have another minute, another day, another hour before you go plunging off into an eternal hell. Why would you want hell, fellas? Why would you want hell?